Okay, guys. Uh, we're going to tie fly. Uh, we're going to call this October Goodness. It just kind of reminds me of an October Caddis. There's lots of October caddis steelhead patterns out there. This would actually be dynamic for trout as well, as far as just a pupa pattern to, to swing or a soft tackle-ish pattern to swing. Um, I thought of this fly a couple of weeks ago, just by looking at material. My, my, my little hamster starts turning, the wheel just you know, turns up there. And uh, I thought about this fly because I saw this pheasant rump and I was like, hmm, there's use for that for sure. And I hadn't really done much with it. So um, we're gonna get going. All right, here we go. Starting out with Fitty D, our favorite. Uh, just tied down to about roughly, I like to have on these, these, so this is an Alec Jackson iron in size seven, I should say. Um, I like to have a pretty short fly. I just think it looks great. So, so that's about as far down as I'm gonna tie. I'm gonna tie some uh, brassy ultra wire in. And what I do is I just tie it down <clears throat> till we till the the eye comes back. Tie down to that point. And 50D just ties down everything just incredibly well, so I don't worry too much about this pulling out or anything like that. Okay. Um ice dub pheasant tail delicious dubbing just gonna noodle it on you could put it in a in a loop if you wanted to but I'm gonna noodle it on it the back of this fly I like to be relatively sparse so noodling makes that a little easier okay Just a hair or more. And I like to put just a small little ball to put my material up against. Almost like intruder style where there we go. It's okay if it's a little loosey goosey. Come back the opposite direction. And tie your wire off. If you do the little helicopter, you won't see you won't see your wire at all. It's really nice. Okay. All right. Um, little thing of pheasant rump, and just a couple of turns of this goes a long way it's red it just looks you know it's reddish orange it just it just looks really good i was reminded after i did the intro that that eli found this in a random container that we have full of random stuff so gotta give eli partial credit for this fly And if many of you, like me, when I see a, a video online, wonder if this fly works, does this actually work? Is this a proven fly? I mean, let's be honest, I made this up, you know, what, two weeks ago, Eli? So, like two weeks ago. Yes, it does work. It does work. I had the confidence to try it out. I'm trying to think if I got a Deschutes fish on it. I don't think I did. I don't think I used it on the Deschutes. No, I, I really thought of this fly for, for the Rogue. 
steelhead get super, super bitey towards uh, natural looking flies. I actually have a, another natural fly that I really like on the Rogue that's almost even more natural than, than this thing, which it's kind of hard. Okay, so, eh. Might be a little bit bigger feather than what I kind of planned on, but that's all right. It's, yeah, it's good. All right. Partridge. And, you know, there's lots of different partridge feathers. Just pick one that you like the modeling and call it a day. This one I like. You could do the you know, kind of the standard soft tackle, but the more most white black ones would look good too. This one has a little bit of brown in it. Again, just boy, I really need some new scissors. These things blow. Okay. Yes, Palmer that stuff back. So yes, this, this guy did catch a beautiful steelhead and a tail out on the Rogue a few nights ago. My buddy let me have the tail out. And uh, you know who you are. That was a mistake when you knew what fly I was using. <laughs> I don't like using hackle pliers, so don't cut your stem. If you don't like using hackle pliers, don't cut your stem like I did. Oh yeah, looks juicy. Oh my gosh, these, these scissors are like bent right on the tip. Oh, Eli's handed me his scissors. Very kind of you after I've finished the fly. Thank you, Eli. <laughs> oh man, it just moves. Let me tell you, I think it's always silly that we blow on our flies, but uh, man, that, <laughs> that doesn't really move that much. But for whatever reason, it works like a charm. Um, big eat by small steelhead. This is a small steelhead fly. So if you expect to catch a 10 pound summer on this fly, just erase those expectations right now. I'll tell you right now, this caught a three pound summer the other night. And let me tell you, as a guy who is unbelievable at catching small fish, it was quite satisfying. Just, just do it on a smaller rod, all right? That's why they invented five weight spay rods. Okay, whip finish, here we go. I'm gonna whip finish pretty close to the, the goods of the fly. I'm gonna actually taper my head a little bit with by whip finishing. So it looks cool. Is it necessary? No. No, not at all. Mm. Yep, I'm happy, I'm happy. Happy, happy, happy. Okay. Um, yeah, and you can you can glue it if you like. I'll uh, I'll leave that and enjoy tying this. This is very little material, but I, I promise you it, it works like a charm. So thanks for thanks for listening. Thanks for putting up with us.